Hello YouTube, XCT here, and today we're going to hack Time. Time is a 30-point machine on Hack the Box that involves using a public exploit for a CVE and overwriting a shell script that is periodically run by root. So after the initial port scan, we can see that we have a web server and port 22 um, for SSH. So let's continue by looking at the website. Here we can see that we have some kind of JSON parser, um, which is going to format the JSON for us and also validate it. So Let's just paste a really simple one here, and that worked. Let's try the validate function as well. And without any input, it seems to error, and we get this error that basically tells us um, that it's in faster xml.jackson.databind. And if you Google for that one, um, you will eventually find this um, GitHub page. Um, where it um, has a CVE for a Jackson, which will lead to RCE. So if you are interested in that one, um, I linked a blog post describing the details um, on how this works. But to exploit it, we just have to follow these um, two simple steps here. On the one hand, we have to um, host this inject.sql file. And here we can see the contents and basically there's a shell command being executed at the bottom and we just have to replace that one with something that will give us a shell. If we scroll down a bit to the bottom, it also shows us what we have to enter into the um, JSON field, which is basically this thing uh, with a URL that points to our box where it will grab the inject.sql file from. So I downloaded um, everything and this inject.sql file. Um, the only thing I modified here is I replaced the shell command so it curls a reverse shell um, from my box. And yes, this X file was generated with rash.now.sh like I usually do, um, which will try several different ways to connect back to us. So it's a really good way if you want to be fast. So what we need to do now is just start a listener. And also we have to take the URL I just mentioned, paste it here and say we want to validate. And we can see here that um, we got a hit on our web server. The inject.sql was requested, also the X file. And here we got a shell. So let's look at how we can escalate privileges. Uh, we can see we are normal users, so let's get the flag first. Okay, with that out of the way, um, the thing I usually do is run lse.sh to see if there's um, anything easy for privesc. So I'm just going to let this run. Scroll up a bit, see if there is anything interesting here. So this is writable files here. This seems to be the JSON project, uh, which we exploited just now. And also there's this uh, very unusual file, this timer underscore backup dot sh. And here at the bottom, we can see that LSE has um, also looked at processes which have been running at the moment. So very interesting thing here we can see is that root is actually executing this timer file, which we have full write privileges over. So let's look at the contents. This is just some script uh, making a website backup or restoring it or whatever. Um, but it's executed by root, so the only thing we really have to do here is to get some shell command that helps us into this file. Um, in this case, I'm giving bash the set uid bit, so um, it will give us a root shell. Now we just have to wait until the script executes again. It already did, so we run bash minus p and have become root. So that's already it for the box. Um, let's let's have a short look uh, maybe at the parse.rb file. 
the thing that is actually um, being executed when you press validate. And um, if you look at the blog post I did below, you will see that this is exactly the vulnerable snippet that they mentioned in the blog post. So it's just copied from there. That's it from my side. Um, thank you and see you next week.